Okay guys, Coach Tom, Coach Earl here for Rocket Point CrossFit with a BeFit 60 day challenge, uh, frequently asked questions that we've had over the last week. Uh, we just want to clear up a couple things that we've been questioned on. And um, by the way, first of all, congrats guys. That's our first week through. There's some good looking scores up there. Not nearly as good as Coach Earl and myself. We've been eating perfect. Perfect score, baby. <laughs> okay, so uh, I suppose one of the first questions that came up was nutrition and serving size. People are like, okay, how many points am I going to lose if I have some drinks, right? And um, like, is it a bottle of wine that you lose one point? And unless you're like Andre the Giant, like, no, it, it's serving size. I, what is it, six ounces for wine, 12 yeah, ounces six for Yeah, six to eight ounces. Yeah. Basically, we'll say a drink. So you have a shot, that's a drink, that's one point. You have one glass of wine, that's one point. You decide to have three more glasses of wine, there goes your four yeah. points. No, you can blow it watching the Seahawks game tomorrow night with like less than a six pack. And then food, um, somebody was like, what if I had like um, butter, cook something in butter and then had like a cream on it. I'm like, you blew two points right There's there. There's two points. Yeah. And you have a cheeseburger, well you got the cheese and you have the, uh, the patty would be good and then the bun would be bad so don't forget the condiments you're putting on it too yeah if there's condiments yeah. on the cheeseburger you might blow it in all all in one cheeseburger there you go guys so i hope that clears things up there all right water uh got grilled by a couple of people they're like holy shit what are you going to do it's a lot of water people That's pissing a lot of like crazy <laughs> yeah the, the trick was not to drink three liters before you go to bed to get those eight hours because you're just going to fail on, on the sleep anyway um so about the water uh, basically with the water guys, what we're looking for is quantification. That's what's most important. Um, the number was kind of arbitrary. It's really hard to define how much water a person actually needs. It's relative to so many things. So what we want you to do is it's somewhere roughly between two and three liters of water anyhow. You should all be drinking that much um, in the first place. But just measure how much you're drinking. So you can use a jar, you could use a protein cup or something like that. Something that has measurement and then just drink out of that for the day ideally is the best way to figure out if you're getting enough in. Yeah, hope that answers your question. If you have to fiddle with your points uh, from the past week as a result of this information, go ahead. Uh, we're not gonna get upset if you do. Um, there was a couple other things that people might have to adjust their points on as well and that came down to supplements. Um, I was asked if you can have one of those protein shakes and what we've decided on is if you're having that protein shake, you know, as your pre-workout or post-workout, it's got to be about 15 minutes within the workout. We will not allow you to have a protein shake throughout the course of the day as a substitute for a meal that you should have prepared correctly. So whey shakes are allowed within 15 minutes of your workout. Yeah, we'll clarify that, guys. Post and pre-nutrition, you're allowed to supplement um, if it's for you're lazy in the morning and you're on the go and you want to have a whey shake for breakfast, it's going to be considered a negative point. Uh, if it's part of your daily regimen for your supplement, by all means, keep doing it post and pre-nutrition. Okay. Um, sleep. Um, the question was, what day do you record the sleep on? So today, what the hell is today? Today's the 19th, right? So I'm not going to score my sleep score for the 19th until I get my eight hours of sleep tonight. It wasn't last night. That was the 18th score. So I think there might be a, a couple of adjustments required. So ideally people aren't going to be able to score their sleep score you know, today, and which a few people have been doing. And I'm not, too, I'm not going to get bent out of shape because it's just, it's really skewing the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, what's up with that? I got a perfect score, yeah. I should be number one. Yeah. No, so basically guys, just to clarify once again, it's the night before sleep. So when you want, come in and log your score, you're not logging that day out because that day hasn't taken place yet. You may cheat later in the night, you may not sleep enough through the night. So you log the day after. Yeah, unless you're one of those poor shift workers that sleeps eight hours during the day and then you come in. You poor bastards. You got it. Okay, I think I that's think, got it, right? I think we covered it all. The last thing, guys, with the mobility, the mobility must be um, 10 or 15 minutes outside of class time. So if you're stretching during class time, that's great. We always try and program some of that stuff in anyhow, but we want you to put an additional time in your schedule. It's whether you come five minutes early and then stay five minutes late or come right on time and then stay 10 minutes late to put that extra mobility in, or maybe you do it before you go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, or you do it when you get up to go pee in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, I think that's got it. We'll see you guys at Kerrigan Gymnastics. Uh, we'll meet here at the gym uh, before 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. And uh, let's go get bouncy, trouncy, fun, 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 fun. Be fit challenge, 60 days, guys. We're getting into it. We'll see you soon.